today in my motherland, in my home state, reflecting the brand equity of Doha Bank as an integral part of our functional makeup. I also want to compliment the honored guests here. Great in numbers. I don't want to list it out. There are extraordinary jewels of India who are all representing the country's brand equity in the Gulf states like to start with B.R. Shetty, the managing director of is here. Mr. PNC Menon, again, recipient of Bharatiya Saman Award. Mr. Naresh Goel of Jet Airways, the chairman. Dr. Swami Parthasarthi. My great brother, Mr. Viji Santosham. The former Law Commission chairman. And I'm a great mentor to many of the Tamilians and a great Indian, Dr. Justice Lakshmanan, Tamil Economic Conference founder, Dr. Vyara Sampath, Mr. Pirame Natarajan, Mr. Narayan, Mr. Mohan. He's a veteran in acting, but I thought I should bring him to the desk and make the, uh, the, the best of the evening. And I'm honored to have one and all being showcased. I'm going to be very brief in the morning. Many of you have attended, some of you have not attended, so I'm going to make it five to seven minutes, the purpose of our existence today onwards in, in Chennai. We recognize we live in a changing world. Change is happening in terms of global sustainability. Globalization as now has been redefined as economic nationalization. Deregulation has become re-regulation, an extraordinary set of Change is happening in the global trade, investments, banking, and finance. We live in an interconnected world, interdependent world, Facebook world. More than ever, we have digital governance redefining the business model. Within the changing definitions, the financial markets are absolutely highly volatile. The global growth is at stake. Advanced economies are grossly underperforming. And global growth itself is highly speculative possibly 3.9% is the prediction for this year and next year onwards. Advanced economies in aggregate terms not performing more than 2.3%. Emerging markets as integral part of the overall incremental productivity and consumption is doing around 4.9%. India is stopping in the list with, as a functional democracy, not less than 7.4%. That's a proud matrix for India. And India is, is known for its civilization heritage and culture, it's going to be a substance of this century. There's no doubt with the changing dynamics in the world, India is going to be a telling story in the years to come with multi, multi trillion. We are possibly predicting around 10 trillion by 2030, 2025 is not less than 5 trillion. We have seen the digital evolution, financial inclusions. We have seen the reflection of 1.5 billion mobile use, 1 billion internet use, 550 million middle class, 450 million, less than 35 as demographic dividend, name it. The infrastructure creation itself is 1.5 trillion. As a digital divide, we have seen the e-commerce reflection and the overall growth and momentum and the market liberalization is going to redefine as an important opportunity for the world community. Our brand equity is improving, while our recognition in terms of political progression is visible in the World Bank and United Nations and our International Bank for Reconstructions. We are also seeing the reflection in terms of business enabling, the competitive offerings, and also in the foreign direct investments. Last three years alone, we have mobilized over $194 billion as inward investments, which is sixth in the world order in terms of inward investments. So the extraordinary set of transformation is taking place in the world. While the global sustainable development agenda, eradication of extreme poverty, gender equality, universal health care, universal education, and environment sustainability is being contemplated, changed, and challenged, we have a sustainable performer, India. On the other hand, we have Gulf as an extraordinary setting of 45% of the world oil, 20-25% of the world gas coming together in multiple form and substance, leave the political wrangling off late within the GCC definition, Qatar has proved to be a telling story. Extraordinary resilience and shows its 
a sustainable performance last year after the blockade. A country of great substance and substantive compliance is today is, is progressive in terms of social, economic and political spectrums. That's the convergence we see between India and Qatar. Doha Bank, as in its 40 years of existence as a brand, is operating in 17 countries, right from Australia, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, China, Hong Kong, India, with three of its outlets today onwards. Extraordinary story in addition to Istanbul, London, Frankfurt, Toronto, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. So you have important opportunity coming up in terms of trade, divergence of trade while global uh, is perceiving it, but we see the convergence in terms of trade investments. We hear is a set of opportunities which we deliberate in the morning. I'm not going to elucidate in detail. We had uh, nearly 90 minutes of conversation and deliberation and discussions encompassing various opportunities in terms of investment, infrastructure, and also uh, the, the overall industrial expansion which we, have, we are witnessing in both in Tamil Nadu as well as in, in Qatar. So our intention is to build this brand. Our intention is to facilitate as big corporates. We want to facilitate the small and medium-sized entrepreneurs, individuals or institutions. We want to make sure we sit in the right kind of value streaming for business community. Here is the, the opportunity which we want to showcase and value in, in, res in response to changing dynamics. I want you to visit Qatar and make sure you perceive yourself. It is a country which is going through extraordinary set, set of market liberalizations, a, a free zone, and again, a visa on arrival for Indians, an important opportunity for, yes. We important opportunity for us to recognize and converge in substance in terms of trade or investments. Bankers, we want to facilitate this opportunity to your advantage and mutual advantage in prospects. That is the very purpose of the submission. I thank all these gentlemen who have built this brand, who have been supporting this uh, direction in addition to the corporate management. I want you to thank once again for these honorable guests. I also want to place it in record. His Excellency Sheikh Fahad bin Mohammed bin Jabir Al Thani, the chairman of Doha Bank, who, you know, who is not in a position to be part of the evening uh, function as such, nevertheless, he is integral part of this functional makeup. Again, Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Jabir Al Thani, the, one of the founders again, along with Sheikh Abdul Rahman, is not here in the evening, but my great thanks to one and all, and we love the, the opportunity of being here. We want to make sure we are integral part of our growth for years to come, generation to come. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind of